Okay, so I'm back. Sorry if you hear the motorcycle in the background. My neighbors must be heathens. I don't know. Anyways, if you didn't watch the video before this one, then you don't know why I'm not in this video. So, anyway, the reason is, is I've been cleaning all day, organizing, and I'm a hot mess. So, I'm not getting in the videos right now. Anyway, I have a, um, how do you call it? A package, I guess, that I ordered from peachycheap.com. And... I was going to open it. This came to my old house. I moved in my new house in May. May the 12th to be exact is when I closed. And so that's how long I have not opened this. I don't even know what's in it. I can't remember what I ordered. So here we go. Oh, I remember. This is a set of Color Mist. And I will show you what they look like because I don't know myself. I have yellow. I guess that's called sunshine something yeah this one is tenenbaum this one here is rudolph these must be from last year unless it's just a preview for this year i don't know and this one is um, powder blue. So, let's see what they say about it. It says, acid-free color mist. Hmm. Don't really tell you much what to do about them, does it? Uh, let's see here. Made in the USA. I don't know. I guess you just paint with them, maybe. Let's try one. Oh, my. Yeah. So, that got all over the place, y'all. Got all over my hands. Looks like I've killed somebody. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, and this don't come off too good. Look. I guess it does, but all right. So there was the red. If you're interested, let's try blue. I'm gonna hold it back there. I'm not gonna touch it. There's the blue. It's kind of watery. Maybe I need to shake it up. Let's try it again. Nope, still watery. Y'all can see that. See how it runs? Ugh. This might be a flop. I'm shaking these up so they don't, maybe they'll thicken up. I don't know. All right, here we go. That one's not too, too bad. This blue's awful. So, do y'all have any idea what to use these for? I'm not really sure why I would order something not knowing what to do with it. Okay, here's the green. I'm going to go ahead and shake this one up. If you hear me, that's what I'm doing. And then, let's try the green. That blue is a hot mess right there. The green did pretty good. It's kind of thick. Oh, Lord, it's making a mess, y'all. The green is kind of thick. That blue is atrocious. I'm going to have to not use that one. So, yeah, there's that. Yippee, I Not using that no more right now. Oh, I think my husband got locked himself out. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. All right, so that was peachy cheap. Now I'm going to show you some stuff I got bit from Big Lots. Let me put these back up. I don't know that I'll ever even use them. So. Anyways, so for Big Lots, it's just a small little one. But neither one of them enough video to have their own. So I picked up this assorted 
cosmetic sponges. You get 24 of them. It looks like a little beauty blender type down here. So we'll see how that works. I'm going to see if I can. We'll see. We two different kinds, see. So I don't know if they're any good or not, but we will try them and see. I'm sure they won't be like the $25 ones. But I mainly bought it for this, these, these right here. You get a couple of these. Next, I bought one of two of these let's see these were $1.25 a piece it's Starbucks iced coffee medium roast and then did I get another one? Oh yeah I did I got two of those another one both in vanilla and I picked up one of these for a dollar can't beat that and I put this in my sink at my kitchen and it helps, you know, your hands. It's hand renewal with Olay. And then I picked up these deep cleansing charcoal nose strips. My pores are terrible, y'all. I don't know what to do. And I know it's from when I was a teenager and I used to cake on the makeup and I didn't wash it off. And I went to bed at night with it on and woke up in the morning with it on and put more on. And I did that for probably about a week at a time. I just didn't no skin care back when I was a teenager in the 80s so anyway now I'm suffering if anybody knows what I can do about these pores let me know until then I'm gonna keep trying whatever I can and this is one of them so yep there's how you do it <laughs> so that might be all of my big lots let me just make sure let's see um I do have a five below. I guess I can put in with all of this. Um, with the five below, and I found this sweet treats. It's um sticker pad, frost and decorate over 100 edible delectable goodies with 500 stickers. And this was um, I don't know how much this was. Let me see if my receipts in here. Yep, it is. This um, sticker pad was $4. There's my receipt right there. So $4. And let me open it and I'll see what it's about. And I'm not going to keep that because I can use these little things, cut them out for pocket letters. I was going to throw it away, but no, I'm not. Okay, so here we have sweet treats. Frost and decorate over 100. Okay, so it gives you the paper here. I know y'all can see that, so I'm not. So you get your paper. I may not decorate these. I'll probably use these for scrapbook and projects, but still, this is what you get. And then you get your stickers. Well, it's well worth four dollars. And if you have children, these would be a good little project for them for this summer to decorate ice cream cones and cakes. So here's your little stickers to decorate with. I may donate this to some kids. I don't know. I really don't know. These awful big stickers for me to use in scrapbooking. I might come up with something. I don't know yet. So there you go. For four dollars, you can't beat that. And then next, I got this. This is a some some stationery set, and I'm not crazy about um actual Disney Simpson, but I love the Cheshire Cat. My, well, actually, I don't. My son does. So, 
I get it because I just love it with him in it. I thought that was cute. And that was one dollar. Here's another one I got. I've done took one pen out and I've been using it and everybody loves it. But I got one of the pens here. Pen writes really good. 0.7 millimeters. It's two gel pens. They both write in black. And look, a little Cheshire. Any cute? I think they're cute. So I've had more compliments on my pen. Everybody tries to take my pen. Now this I got for my son's wife. I just hadn't given it to her yet. But it's the Jack Skeleton set. It's five pens. Mm -hmm. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. And I guess each pen writes the color. Don't really say. It may not. Maybe they're all black. I don't know. It don't say. So. Then I seen this and picked this up. I think this was like a dollar, so I wasn't. But I thought that was pretty colors. I want to see how the pigment is in it. Well. Hmm. Y'all, I can't get it open. Maybe it's got more. I think it's got more plastic on it. Oh my gosh. Sorry, look. Well, no. There we go. Okay, so let's see what the pigment's like here. Y'all see that? Let's try this one. Pretty good. Y'all see that? And of course, you can build it up. Very pretty. I mean, you can't beat that for a dollar. I mean, if I put my shadow primer on. Mm -hmm. And I guess that's called the roses because that's the roses, the colors that they have are rose tones. So there. And then I found this, and this is all from Five Below. And it is the eight pack or eight count jumbo paper clips. I got these. Oh, Lordy. Let me wipe this off my hands because I will have it all over the place if I don't. Okay, now, what else here? I have a little Tuesday morning haul. I guess I can put in here with this if that's okay with y'all. I don't know. Maybe not. Let me look back here. Okay, I'll do Tuesday morning and Mighty Dollar next time. So, I hope you liked my video. Please share, subscribe, comment, and I will be back shortly with another one. I hope you have a blessed day. Thanks. Bye.